also we're very happy uh, they've joined the chamber and um, all of the chamber members are excited about this and we'll, we have 875 people who are willing to give you advice and help you uh, and when you need when uh, you need to appear before council some of us will come there and speak in your and speak in, in uh, your favor um, but people very much are willing are willing to work with you uh, so right now though to really get this going no long speech from me please and uh, I'm very happy to introduce Mayor Justin Wilson. If you don't know, he was officially elected in 19, then he was re-elected to... 19, yeah. Yeah, 19, 20, uh, right? Uh, uh, not, no, feels in, like that. Feels in like 2019, that. he was officially elected. There we go, there we go. Yeah, uh, he was, yeah. three years later, he was re-elected, so he's in his second term. Right. He served on council for eight years with a number of people who are uh, here and some new people on the council since then. Uh, so, uh, and he's going to introduce uh, the elected officials. So, please welcome Mayor Justin Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Sorry for running late. Uh, busy, busy night tonight. Uh, let me introduce a number of folks. We have a number of elected officials who are here tonight. Uh, we have our Vice Mayor, Amy Jackson, right here. Also from the City Council, Councilman Kanika Geary. From the Virginia House of Delegates, we got two members. We have Delegate Elizabeth Benaparte, this is in her district. And we have Delegate Paul Cusick. We'd like to have you here. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as Alexandria Extended. Yeah. <laughs> My wife calls that fake Alexandria. <laughs> 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 so, 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 just, just, we can get some of that text Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's, that's right. You, Give us that, we'll be fine. Um, I, I do want to also recognize uh, some folks from our city staff who are here. We have uh, Kate Garvey, the head of the Community Human Services, and Helen McElwain right over here. But, but Heather has all the money, so we, we, had, we, had, yeah, we got all the money. We heard that, we heard that earlier. Um, so uh, we are very excited to to celebrate this day uh, with you. I had the opportunity to have have lunch with you guys, uh, the, the leadership team, uh, a couple months ago, and talk about what you had planned for this site and certainly an exciting uh, addition to the city. You know, Alexander, one of the things that's wonderful about Alexander is we're a small town. Uh, we are we're a small town, but we are a, a, a big city in many ways and have big city problems. Um, but we're, because we're a small town, we have the capacity to deal with those problems. We have the resources and the wherewithal to deal with those problems. But that doesn't just happen with the government. That doesn't just happen with Heather's money. Um, it, also, it also happens uh, with, with really good partnerships um, in, in the nonprofit community. And so we are so excited to have you guys coming across the river uh, here to, to Alexandria and bringing a, a proven record uh, of success in addressing some of the critical needs in our community uh, to our, our community, um, and particularly uh, areas focusing on veterans um, and focusing on kids. Um, those are areas that, that are very important to us. We have a, a very large veterans, uh, uh, veteran population of the city, um, and certainly far too many um, who have uh, served our country who are, are experiencing homelessness. And so um, the work that, that you guys do is so critical um, to our city, and especially at this time. Uh, you know, it is a uh, it is a, a normal-ish time. Uh, I keep saying normal-ish, right? We're getting back to normal-ish. And uh, that means that uh, we have the need that we had before, but then we have a whole new set of needs. And, um, and we're gonna need to expand the partnerships uh, in the community to address those needs. But we are, we are committed to working with you. We are excited that you're here. Um, and uh, uh, Kate wants me to let you know the Fund for Human Services is open. Uh, the, grant, the grant applications are due on April 17. So uh, if, if you're interested, if Heather, if you don't get all the money that you need from Heather, we, we also we also we also have have some as well. Um, but uh, but but we want we want to partner. And and I think what you will find in the city, as as we talked about over lunch, is is that. Um, we have a, 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 an enormous number of nonprofit organizations that will want to partner with you and work to serve some of the same uh, same populations in our community and do so together. Not in competition, in partnership. Yeah. And, and I think that's what makes the, the nonprofit community great. That's what makes the, the great partnership we have in this city uh, wonderful. And that's why we've been able to achieve success. And we're looking forward to the success that you'll achieve as well for our community. So congratulations. Um, and I believe I'm introducing you, sir, <laughs> the president and CEO. So, thank you very thank much. You. Thanks for being here. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for being here. I want to thank the mayor, vice mayor, of course, and all the other elected officials for being here. Kate, Ellen, Heather, Charlotte, we appreciate you very much, and we feel so welcome already as we've reached out to you in the last. Uh, 
a couple of months and plus, and it's, it's been great to see one another, of course, on Zoom and now better in person. Um, as the mayor says, it's getting normalish around here, <laughs> that's good. Sort of. um, I want to thank also all the other partners. We have lots of support already in uh, Old Town. So a little bit about Friendship Place for those of you who don't know us. We are 32 years old. We were started in Upper Northwest in DC and then we grew progressively to the city level, then the regions level. And we have been, uh, we provide an array of services going from street outreach to drop-in clinic, job placement, lots of housing, of course, specialty programming for veterans, youth, families, we run three large buildings for the city, short-term and permanent, uh, in different neighborhoods of the city. Um, the other city. The other city. city. Now, now, you're, now you're here. <laughs> we are the city. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's DC. That's DC. <laughs> <laughs> and to, be clear, to be clear, I live in Alexandria. I live in this city. <laughs> so, um, budget of 21 million with the contractors and the staff, uh, over 200 of us to do what we have to do every uh, week at Friendship Place, which is to assist 4,500 people a year with job placement, housing, etc. So. Here in Northern Virginia, we have been serving veterans for the last 10 plus years with funding from the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, you're meeting some team members. Uh, I'll introduce you to, to Sean, who runs all the programs regionally for us uh, after. And so this is rapid rehousing, some prevention, some other forms of assistance also. Uh, VA, the Department of Veterans Affairs, has been a terrific partner for us, we're happy to say. We've grown this relationship from one position to now over 40. Uh, and uh, it's just been a, a wonderful experience, of course, to help folks who have served our country and our heroes. And we have veterans on the staff, I'm happy to say, and, and veterans on the board also at Friendship Place. Friendship Place is a very inclusive community. We like uh, people from all walks of life to join us. We have, of course, peers, folks who have life expertise, as we now say, in homelessness. And some folks are like me, family members, because my brother happened to be homeless in the in Washington. Uh, <laughs> before, two years before I moved here. And so it's just the way we like to be inclusive and all about putting people first, finding solutions. We're known for that. Sometimes we craft them uh, ourselves, like uh, Aim Higher, the uh, job placement program that we're going to bring down to uh, Alexandria with partial federal funding and lots of private funding. Right. It's a wonderful model we developed ourselves. Uh, we assume employability, so we look at everybody as having a skill set he or she can get paid for now. No more holding people in classrooms for weeks or months. People in homelessness we know need jobs now, and that's, that's what right. we do. So this program will be available under David Vicenti right. right here uh, in, uh, in Alexandria. And then uh, the, the other new program is Before 30. Before 30, I was telling some people in the room earlier, as a wonderful history. We uh, crafted it with five moms who had all raised uh, children and young adults with challenges, and they wanted something alternative, something new, innovative, that really went to the person and helped people rebuild from multiple challenges. It's called Before 30 because it serves people 17 to 29, and it's a very innovative case management program that looks at all facets of people's needs and crafts, again, solutions, letting people, of course, uh, drive their own rebuilding process uh, we're, we're helping with medical, psychiatric addiction, etc. Families of choice for a lot of people on the street who are completely disconnected at a very young age from, from their family, including a large number of young members of the LGBTQ community. So we think it's a, it will be a great addition to Old Town and, and we're looking forward to bringing the program down and working with uh, some of you in, in the, uh, other, with the other service providers and, and the city offices. Um, I don't want to go on too long. I do want to thank you and, and look forward to meeting with you in person uh, so that we can do more work together. We're delighted to be here and again we're very thankful sir, for the very warm reception we have gotten uh, from all of you now that we're in Old Town. <laughs> I'm going to turn this over to Sean Reed who is our Vice President of Regional Programs and Sean is in charge 
of uh, all the facilities around the city and, and some in the city. So I'll tell you about it. <laughs> this city and the other city. <laughs>
and it's going good. And my contact with Friendship Place was a blessing. And I was told by my parents, you know, you don't take blessings and stuff in your pockets, it's supposed to be shared. Mm -hmm. So I'm sharing my blessings with whoever I can share them with. I hope to meet all of you and shake your hands. And again, thank y'all for finding us. And thank you for letting us come into your city.